So I have some y'all are gonna love. y'all so i have a bunch of unexpected goodies um accidentally bought this uh, i think you guys are gonna enjoy it Damn, look at that some of you guys are like yeah that's a unicorn man they don't make those shits no more you can't get these no more a snout um jokers performance full cnc uh port job And the snout was ported as well and matched to the case. The runners were done. Let's see if you guys can see those. And it was rebuilt by Superchargers Online. It has zero miles on it since the rebuild. Let me show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see in there. Man, I can put my whole, my whole body can fit in there, man. And I'm a big dude. Look at that. Nice and ported. Has a 2.4 on it from Ligon Filter. So, you know, I always do LSA blowers and wanted to do a Magnus in, but this LS9 supercharger, um, 2.3 liters, not the 1.9 liters of the LSA. Couldn't pass up on it, man. I got this for uh, 3,800 bucks. Shout out to Adrian. Um, and just to put that in perspective, 3,800 bucks. Um, the cheapest one I can find stock was 2,700. Um, and it was just stock, uh, snout, stock LS9 uh, supercharger. So for seemingly a thousand dollars more, I got one rebuilt, um, full CNC ported and you know, over a thousand dollars this snout is worth because you just can't find these things anymore um plus the pulley you know 2.3 but the biggest the biggest thing like the craziest thing man let me show you guys these things before i open this some of you guys are gonna understand what i'm talking about some of you guys may not but the ls9 uh is a dry sump of course um and you know, uh, the, the, the dry sump snout uh, on the, not snout, but the, the front of the crank is a little longer to facilitate the, the bigger oil pump. Yada yada. So their accessories are unique. Um, they have their own offset setup. And you know, it's an 11 rib from the factory stock. So I, I don't have to worry about belt slip. But you know, you can't get those accessories anymore. But somehow, I lucked up and I ended up getting brand new LS9 accessories to include brand new, look at that, brand new, brand new alternator, brand new AC compressor, everything. I mean, bolts, instructions. Um, the only thing that's used is this, uh, is the water pump, but it was machined down to clear the snout. So, all brand new accessories except for the water pump that I have here, man. All that, the reservoir, everything. Brand fucking new. So, I, I ended up paying $5,500. I took a trip to Cali total for $5,500 for everything. And this here, you can see, total $890. It is the wet sump conversion ATI balancer. So I don't have to worry about dry sump. 
this whole accessory drive will work with the supercharger and the F body, all thanks to this right here. Let me pull this beauty out. Brand new. Look at this thing, man. Look at this fucking thing. 11 rib. Eleven rib. What fucking belt slip, man? None. So I could not pass on this. This itself is eight ninety. Nine hundred bucks. Nine hundred bucks in this alone. And I got the accessories for uh seventeen hundred bucks extra. So thirty hundred bucks, seventeen hundred bucks on these. Um or fifty five total. I might be missing a number or two. Uh, yeah, I'm a college graduate, aeronautics degree, but uh, part of my on the spot math, y'all. But like I said, I, I couldn't pass on it because I was gonna get an ATI, which is like 500 bucks anyway for the F body accessories. So I just subtracted that from the cost of these uh, accessories, and, and boom. What I'm gonna do is sell all my OEM accessories with an actual LS6 block and make you know all the money back that I spent. So. Just flipping and moving numbers and, and making this deal make even more sense than it did to me at the time. So I don't know why I always get lucky with these deals, but I am not complaining. Um, now my plan is to run full LS9 accessories, get the AC working um, and get the power steering working which I don't think is gonna be a challenge because there's adapters and stuff I can get for the AC. Um, my biggest issues that I foresee happening is um, the uh, alternator is regulated by the ECU on a C6, if I remember correctly. So I'm gonna have to try to get it to get to the appropriate charging level because I believe if it doesn't see a reference from the computer, it will, um, you know, flat line, so to speak, I think 12.8 volts or something like that, 13.4 volts, something like that. That is barely enough to get everything going um, and keep everything powered. So that's the only issue I see, guys. Um, I do plan on running full LS9 accessories. Um, and if you can see here, it's tight space wise as far as getting a bracket on here to run um, drive by cable. But I believe the bracket it comes here, hangs off this way, and comes this way. So the cable will be in this area. I'm pretty sure the cable will clear. If the cable does not clear, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm gonna have to figure something out. I'm gonna have to switch all the wiring to maybe a Holly or E40 or E38 ECU from GM and go drive by wire, um, which I'm, I'm, I'm dreading doing um, because I want everything in the interior to work just like OEM, uh, because you guys know I get bored quick. I don't foresee myself getting bored with this car, but if I do, I want everything running 100%, power steering, AC. Um, you know, this supercharger can take me over a thousand horses, but I don't think I'm gonna get that crazy. So I want a complete car, you know, hit every, uh, check every, every box. And if I decide to sell it, I can, I can place my number on it and it'll sell um, for all the money I put into it, you know. Um, 15, 16 K, something like that, maybe a little more, but anyway, guys, just giving you guys the update. Uh, I know I said I was doing a Magnus and supercharger and this is, um, I think I'm going to eclipse what I'd pay retail for Magnuson, uh, 2300, uh, TBS 2300. So, um, usually these are the, where you save your money and everything, but LS9 can get pricey. Uh, I have an LS9 lid coming. I do have the CTSV lid that I'm going to pair with the LSA supercharger and sell that off um, or maybe keep it for another project. But I don't really have a use for it. Um, not going to use this because what's the point of giving the LS9 if it looks like an LSA? I want the LS9 and I want the LS9 lid. I'm going to power coat that black, you know, do the LS9 supercharger in white and just show everybody, hey, it's a, it's a big ass LS9 in here, right? I'm not a regular LSA guy, so. But yeah, man, y'all let me know feedback, comments, questions. Um, take you guys along for the ride. 
Um, oh, what else I got is uh, I got this um, Mac Performance Diffuser uh, that does need some repair. Uh, guy had like a 30,000 uh, mile um, Trans Am WS6 and he just drilled holes in it right into his, um, his OEM diffuser. So I'm gonna have to get these filled in. Um, but yep. Tomorrow I actually pick up uh, my heads, uh, my crank. Uh, should you be getting the engine together soon? Um, and getting everything placed in the car, getting the T56 sourced, yada, yada, yada. So appreciate you guys supporting me. Um, any comments, questions, anything, please, man. My last videos have had criticisms, questions. I just want to say I'm not a noob, guys. I've done this a thousand times. Some people are thinking this is my first time. Why didn't you redo the bearings? Why didn't you do this? Um, why didn't you use a Lingenfelter TRG002? No, I want to change the reluctor on the crank um, so I don't have that delay when starting. I, that's one less thing that can go wrong is a Lingenfelter box conversion module. Um, but I digress. Yada, yada. Thanks, guys. Um, excited to get this all together.